Hi ladies and guys, it's Carol Henninger, founder of Need a Job Now Tips, a website dedicated to researching and bringing you up to the minute information on the internet, and the creator of this three part free training series on finding the right career for you. And I want to welcome you to Need a Job Now Tips Academy. In this three part free training video series, I'm going to show you how to use your knowledge, expertise, and common sense to figure out what your dream job looks like. While this three part free training video series is going to share with you the best practices of experts, it is also going to be very, very helpful. So make sure you've opted in at needajobnowtips.com website to receive all three videos. Before we get into video three, let's recap what we learned in the second video. If you're like 40% of Americans, you will consider a new career in 2013, at least according to a study done by Parade Magazine and Yahoo Finance. But you may be wondering where do you start or how do you figure out the right career for you? So in the second video we looked at five famous people and the career changes that they made. If you haven't done so already, go ahead to our website and download a copy of two of the worksheets, The Secret to Professional Freedom, Four Steps of Finding Your Dream Job, and Discovering Your Career Needs. You can find them both along with other additional training videos at needajobnowtips.com. Also in the previous video, we discovered four steps to prof professional freedom. First was discovering your strengths, then exploring opportunities, what I refer to as mini jobs, and then once you've mastered the first three steps, then you can rinse and repeat. So now on to video three. Most often we are our own worst enemy when it comes to our success or lack of it. We often carry with us limiting beliefs. Often it is thought of as fear, but in reality it is our thoughts that limit us from advancing to the next level, or in this case switching careers. These limiting beliefs can be paralyzing, cause anxiety, stress, or frustration. And we convince ourselves of the limiting beliefs. We convince ourselves that it's true. There are two possible scenarios, one's based on skill and the other's based on psychological. To begin with, ask yourself, do you have all the information to make the right decision? But before you answer that question, let me add one point. If you accept the information, then you believe the information to be true. And this may prevent you from advancing on to the next step. So if you accept the information is true, then you believe it to be true. And if you believe the information is true, you become frustrated and stressed out. As your frustration and stress increase, your energy level decreases. If, on the other hand, you investigate the information and you find the lack of necessary skill set, then you have some options. You could, one, research the skills needed, two, get the skills, or three, hire some, someone with the skills. When there is a psychological limiting belief, you need to ask yourself if you have all of the information. If the answer is no, then the limiting belief is not true. It is not accurate. On the other hand, if you've not looked into whether or not the information is accurate, you're doing yourself a disservice. Let me give you an example. At one time, maybe even as long ago as 10 years ago, many women believed they could not be firemen or policemen or work in the military on the front line because they were not strong enough physically. These women may need to work out hard, get into better physical shape, but today, there are many women serving in the military and in the police and fire departments around the country. But 10 years ago, if you had that thought, someone may have crushed your dream of working in police or fire service, and that would have been a limiting belief. Now, there are three steps you can take to change your limiting beliefs. First, challenging the, challenge the limiting belief after you investigated all of the information. So, in the case of the firefighter, you would not give up on your dream of becoming a firefighter, but instead find out what you need to do to level the playing field. What are the skills that are required, and what, do you, what skills do you already have, and what ones do you need to get? Next, you would look at all of your options to determine how realistic the limiting belief is, and what you need to do to overcome it. Is it a lack of skill set, or is it something more? 
Finally, break down the limiting belief into manageable action steps. Using the example of wanting to become a firefighter, what steps do you need to take to accomplish this dream? If it were me, I would meet and talk with other female firefighters to get their perspective on what it took for them to realize their dream. Next, I would hire a personal trainer or an exercise coach to work with me to build up my agility and my upper body strength. And finally, I would reach out to a handful of trusted friends or family members and ask them to support me through this time. I may even ask the fi female firefighters I spoke with earlier if I could check in with them every week or so. There are also several women's groups available. They may offer something in the way of support. Winston Churchill once said, if you're going through hell, keep going. If you're looking to change, to start your own business, what alternative task can you delegate to someone else in order to free up your time to do the things that are your strengths? Once you've identified your strengths and come up with a plan to use those strengths to your advantage, you'll notice a difference. You'll feel empowered and unstoppable. So what three things can you do today to overcome your limiting beliefs? Go ahead, leave a comment below and tell us your limiting belief. Just place a comment below and we'll respond. And if you haven't downloaded your worksheets already, be sure to do that from our website at needajobnowtips.com. There are two worksheets out there, The Secret of Professional Freedom, A Four-Step Plan to Finding Your Dream Job, and Discovering Your Career Needs. And here's what to do next. Download and complete the two worksheets that we mentioned. Keep an eye out for more free training. Please leave your comments below and make sure to like the video. Oh yes, and share this video with your friends.